Hey guys, my name is Neil and welcome to Neil Workshop Zone. So in this episode, we are going to learn more things and more stuff that JavaScript can do. So from the next episode, which obviously will start from next week, uh, we are also going to be, uh, learn more about how JavaScript can be integrated into HTML code. And you know, instead of just running simple JavaScript programs like always, we will also integrate uh, HTML content or more like JavaScript content into HTML code. So we can understand how it actually works in a web page instead of just as direct examples. So for now, I'll just be showing you what JavaScript can do because you know I left that in parts as a series and we still got to work on that. So this episode will be about what else JavaScript can do, and from this episode or by the end of this episode, um, we'll have completed almost all of the things that JavaScript can do. So, without further ado, now that I have the notepad open, let me just <coughs> write the code. So, first, let's write doc type HTML. Doc type HTML. Let me close the brackets. Now, let us write this body and forgot HTML. Now, let us also write slash body slash html now most of them when i'm writing simple code we usually just uh, write the code and just write slash button slash html in the middle but when you're writing larger pieces of code it is really important to uh, write the slash button slash html first and then write the code it's more of like it's not mandatory uh, to write the slash button slash html first but it's more of um, just what you do when you're writing longer pieces of program. Since I'm writing a short piece, I usually don't tend to include slash button slash HTML in it. But yeah, it is. Uh, I would really recommend in the beginning of the code to use slash HTML and slash body. So now, without um, without wasting more time, let us just write a header. So what else can JavaScript do? Just a slash and that. Let's see. So now let's write a p id is equals to demo. Okay. So now let's close the bracket and now let's write JavaScript can also hide h hide the elements. Okay, and now let's just um, you know close that and open a new one and slash p this. P this. Now let's write button type. Button type is equals to button. So let us define it. And let me now on click so by on clicking equals to document dot get element by id brackets let me write demo Let us close this. Now let's write dot style. <coughs> Excuse me. Style dot display. And now let's write equals to none. So now after that, we'll just uh, write under the like double curly brackets and then close it. And we'll just write click me. I wrote the spelling wrong, but it doesn't really matter much. So, uh, let me just end the button, P U T T U N, and obviously we wrote that already. So now let us save this as hello dot well, let us save it as non files and let us save it as UTF8 and save. So now that we save that, let me just open the folder. So it's Neil Workshop Zone right here. 
and very rich yes so now i just so now i'll just open it in google chrome so um you can open it in firefox and i mean any rest of browser but yeah this is how you do it so obviously it doesn't work but by clicking this option you can also hide the elements so this is basically how the code works now what we can also do is instead of writing another code i'll just show it simply but we can do something similar we can also show hidden elements so not only hide the elements but also we can show the hidden elements so let me change it a little, little bit so it doesn't really get confusing much so let's see let us go to the button type let us add one more line of code here so let me just add slash i meant p id is equals to where is equals to there is equals to and the well, right is demo and after that we'll just write style because style and is equals to the display there's something in my here okay display and now let's write yes, none so that and hello and we'll just slash p and enter so now let's go to button type now we don't have to change that much in the button type um, all you have to do is equals to let me just change that to block and yeah the remaining all is the same so by just changing the demo style to the display none and just reversing the roles of what we did in the previous program we will also just uh, reveal hidden elements so that is also how we can do that so by changing the code make sure that when you click the button hidden content is revealed which is really helpful when you're trying to hide secrets in your website so um, that is how you can do that so now uh, that is all you can do in a JavaScript program but before we end the video I'll just open one more notepad and we'll write a simple code um, which is really simple but it also is pretty fun it's like two lines so um, yeah now let's write that program let me just open a simple notepad now let us just write a simple code let's say script close that and we'll just write an alert and in brackets we'll write uh, where is that hi and an alert let us close that close the brackets and click on that and let us just end the script now this seems simple but it is uh, really creative so let me just save this as alert dot html let us change it to all files change the encoding ttf8 and now let us open the folder in which we save that and click on alert and i've opened it in mozilla so it takes a little time but what this basically does is that it shows an alert when you open your web browser like hey uh, this is a pop-up window like you know how when you're um, uh, entering a website it asks sometimes for your permission like permission for something so yeah this is what i'm talking about so it uh, shows an alert when you write something like that so hi i'm an alert so when you click ok it is prevented so we can use this uh, special like tools or the special things that javascript can do to enhance your website even better so there are some things like this but we'll talk about a lot of those in the next episode when we you know add javascript code into html code so it collaborates really well and yeah that is basically today's episode so hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to like share subscribe hit the notification bell so you don't miss out any new videos and that's all folks and see you in the next one bye bye